Snake bites aren't often seen as a neglected tropical disease. However, the World Health Organization listed it as an NTD after it was estimated that over 400,000 people are left disabled from venomous snake bites globally each year. In this report, we hear from the Royal Society of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene and the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine about how education and investment in anti-venom treatments could be a critical step to saving lives. Come on. A bite like this could cost you your life. Around the world, there are approximately 200 different species of venomous snakes and about 2.5 million snake bites a year. Snake bite is one of the most marginalised neglected tropical diseases, and yet it causes some of the highest uh, mortality rates and morbidity rates. And for Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine to invest so much uh, time and energy in this area, I think it illustrates our philosophy of trying to come up with solutions that affect the most disadvantaged peoples in some of the most remote areas of the world. I need to supply uh, anti-venom manufacturers with some. The venom that we extract here is used both for anti-venom production and the testing of the effectiveness of those antivenoms, but also research uh, into developing in the future, hopefully, the, the, the next generation of snake bite therapies. 138,000 people worldwide and 32,000 people in Africa are killed each year by the impact of snake bites. The venom extraction process being done here is vital when it comes to saving lives. Oh, you're already oh, he's lively today. I've got, got that. that. Yep. yep. Right. I've got him up to the bench. Ready? Yep. Right, so this is a Gaboon Viper. Ready, Ed? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, that was a very good bite. Yep. So to improve the care of people with snake bite, we need several things to occur. First of all, we need better quality antivenoms that are safe and effective. And unfortunately, at the moment, that's not always the case. Then we need to have antivenoms that are available near the people that, that are bitten by snakes. Uh, and so that means in the health centres and, and hospitals in the areas where snake bite occurs very commonly. And then we also need people to know that when they are bitten by a snake, we need them to get to those health facilities very rapidly so they can get treatment promptly and, and avoid the really bad consequences of snake bite. As well as causing death, other consequences include severe limb damage and mental health problems. Much work is being done to shine a global light on the impact of snake bites, such as International Snake Bite Awareness Day. And at the heart of it all is education. If we can, we need to try and prevent snake bites from happening. And that's about educating the communities to make sure that they're aware of how they can prevent a snake bite occurring. That might be around um, being careful of rodents or rubbish or other things around the house. But it's also around education of healthcare workers. So what's the best way to quickly and urgently deal with the snake bite? Also education around traditional healers and faith healers to understand the best practice in those situations and to bring traditional medicine and the hospital-based interventions together, so it's more of an integrated approach. Tackling the issue of under-reporting snake bites is also key. So we know that the vast majority of snake bites occur in India, and if we compare the number of deaths that the government um, provide data on, um, we think it could be as much as 30 times higher the actual uh, number of deaths that occur. And this is a real issue because unless we have really relevant and accurate data, we can't really underpin the research that's required. It also affects the need for funding, you know, what that funding demand really is. The WHO recently launched a new roadmap for snake bite which is um, wonderful in that they predict that between now and 2030 we'll need around 120 million dollars to be able to roll out the plans that they feel will will make a real impact on this um, awful disease despite the challenges behind the scenes it's a story of determination talent and ambition it's just a huge relief that at least this enormous problem is now being taken seriously. It's fantastic to, to think that in 10 years time maybe we've got antivenoms that will be saving lives, that will have people who know what to do about snake bite and ultimately we can get to a point where we can reduce deaths and the disability from this awful disease.